had a uh, question sent in to us, and the question is, says, uh, we are building a fax server and have four lines. Uh, can you suggest a, a fax modem, and what should I look for? Well, we happen to have built fax servers for many, many years. And <clears throat> the first question is, um, as far as the fax server is concerned, why would you be looking at a fax modem? And my guess is, is because they're pretty economical. They're fairly inexpensive compared to a uh, dedicated fax board. Well, there's a whole lot of reasons why they're more in it, or much, much less expensive because, quite frankly, they're not dependable. Uh, they're not reliable and they're not dependable. And I have never, ever, ever advised somebody to use a fax modem. You simply cannot and will not get satisfactory results out of one of them in a production environment. And if your business depends on getting good, clean, easy to read faxes um, without fail, or being able to send faxes quickly and efficiently without fail, then you have no business looking at a fax modem. So that being said, um, <clears throat> one of the most popular fax boards that I like because uh, uh, you basically have to look for fax boards in either a digital or analog format. And if you look analog or digital boards, uh, there's only really one company to turn to, which is uh, uh, now they're owned by Dialogic, but it used to be called Brook Trout. They were uh, um, they were sold to Cantata, and they in turn, I believe, sold to Dialogic. But the uh, Brook Trout uh, TR1034 digital board is the, uh, especially if you have a PRI interface, is going to be the best way to go. So that being said, <clears throat> um, I think in this case they're looking at a analog scenario because he's asking about fax modem. Well, um, Brook Trout has a uh, a two port fax card. Uh, I think even a one port. Um, a little bit on the expensive side and um, not very well supported out there as far as all different types of fax software. We happen to like a company called Mainpine and particularly their new IQ Express uh, fax board. And what I like about this is it's a, 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 low pro, a small profile fax card. The length of the card is about that of a pencil and it works with uh, PCIe, uh, Exp or, I'm sorry, PCI Express uh, ports. And uh, so you can get them in one, two, four, or eight port configurations. They also um, can be kind of mixed and matched with other hardware. They get along well with other types of cards, uh, or you can add additional cards to them. Uh, they have their own uh, uh, digital uh, signal processor DSP chip. Uh, per each channel or port that they use. Um, and I think they, they go as fast as 120 uh, million instructions per second or MIPS. <laughs> um, they really don't use a whole lot of power, like less than one watt of power, so they're not going to be a big uh, uh, drain on your uh, power supply on there. Um, they support V.34 um, standard. And if you're not familiar with V.34, that is the mechanism in which how your fax machine communicates with another fax machine. Uh, it's in the handshaking and the agreed upon speed. Uh, and V.34 uh, allows a 33.6K connection between the, uh, the two fax machines. Now, it's also known, I think, as uh, Panasonic Super G3. Uh, standard is the same thing as V.34, I think. Uh, you're going to find uh, V.34 in a lot of office machine type fax machines. Uh, you're not going to really find that on fax modems per se. That's going to be more a function of a, a uh, fax board. And I tell you that modern fax machines, a lot of them can now fax in color. And you better be using V.34 whenever color is going to be introduced uh, into faxing because it's a much, much larger fax that you're looking at. So 
that's what V34 uh, standard does. And uh, there's older standards out there that are, are much, much slower. So uh, V.34 really speeds up the transmission of faxes and it makes faxing more affordable. It goes through a whole lot faster. So I really like that about uh, the main Pine analog cards. It also supports, you know, XP, uh, Windows 2003, uh, <clears throat> uh, Windows Server 2008, Linux, all those are supported. So uh, it supports a wide range of fax, um, fax server software and has been lab certified to work with Microsoft Windows Small Business Server and the fax sharing uh, software that's built into it. It works great with our fax maker software. It works great with Hylofax. There's a whole long list of fax server software that it works with. And so um, that's really good. We also like the fact that uh, if you're not happy with the Main Pine board, Main Pine will refund your money within 30 days of purchase. And I think that's really huge. They put a three year replacement, no, I guess it's a five year now, hardware warranty. So if there's a failure of the hardware, you know, they replace that. Well, you're not going to get that with a fax modem, you know, just anywhere. Just, you know, they just don't do that. And then you can get a uh, express replacement option on that. So in case there is a failure, you can have a new one like overnighted to you uh, while you're waiting on your old one to be repaired or replaced. So all that's available with Main Pine. They also give really good support because uh, configuring a uh, fax, or, uh, fax server software to work with an analog board can be kind of tricky at times can be a little bit on the tricky side and sometimes you'll just sit and play with it, play with it, play with it and just won't work, won't work, won't work. Um, and it, but uh, with the MainPine folks, they've been real good about supporting uh, various software packages more so than the hardware. Uh, it's pretty doggone amazing. They really know their way around all this fax software out there in the marketplace. Um, and the pricing is pretty pretty hard to beat as well. You get a lot for your money with the Main Pine board. So that's why we like Main Pine. We love Dialogic. We love the uh, TR1034 boards. We do those. Um, we have a few other boards uh, that we recommend to people that they purchase and put in a fax server. But for the most part, if it's an analog environment, and that means you're plugging into what we call POTS lines or plain old telephone lines, uh, you're going to be pretty hard to beat the main pine board. Uh, however, if you're using a T1 and what we call a PRI, then you're going to pretty much have to, I think, really look at Dialogic. And those can be a lot more spendy, but you get a lot more uh, more functionality out of them. For example, what we call DID or virtual fax numbers. Uh, that's part of having a T1 PRI system and a digital board. You can also do uh, uh, a software version of the, the TR1034 is called the SR140, which is a software version or an emulation of the Brook Trout uh, TR1034 boards.